in the last video we have completed the entire home page and i believe that you guys have watched that so this is what we have built in the last video looks absolutely stunning and if you click on that nothing is happening and that's what we're going to build it so let's go back to the login page so login hit enter and this is the page we go to build and this one is the last video of our project so let's start working on our login page so click back on the pages come back to the login and here we have to do a uh, write the code so before we write the code here we have to come here in the component go back to the auth and here we have to import the component so right now we have this two component login and logup so let's import that this one is login and that's coming from the same directory and we need the logout either sign up and that's coming from the same directory and we have to simply export so we'll say export login and sign up so that's the only thing we have to do here cut this one now let's come back here in the login and now we can start working on our login page internal import we have to import the component login and the sign up and that's coming from the component auth index so let's come here let's take a section it will have a class section so let's remove this one we'll take a div inside that we'll take a section section and it will have a class called login section inside that we'll take a anchor and we have to take a href inside that we'll have to take the image close that one i don't know why my tags are not working so we'll take this image slash logo and we have to assign our csv logo so that's how it will look and let's assign a class called image fluid and we'll have this logo auth so let's come here we'll take a div close that one and it will have a class so let's assign row margin zero then we'll have a div let's close that one and let's assign a class called column large seven and we'll have this d large in line and blocked and last one is d none and padding zero then we'll take a div and it will have a class called logo animation and that will take the image let's assign a source asset slash we have to get into the csv folder then we have to display our auth slash one csv and then we have to display this data os and fed up and data os duration we'll take this thousand and then we'll take this data aos delay will be 100 and this will be the class we'll call image fluid we'll say image base simply copy and replicate couple of time and here we have to do the changes this will be three and i don't know why the images are not displaying so three svg and let's change this to light and this will be thousand and this will be three and this will be thousand so this is the changes but the icons are not displaying okay let's keep working so this is the images so let's remove this extra one we have created so let's take a div it will have a closing then we'll assign a class called class image face and simply copy and that's what we have to simply paste here and here we have to do a couple of changes so first we're going to change this to flip lift and this will be our 2500 and here we'll have another attribute called data aos and this will be easy call easy out cubic and so that will take the image we have to provide the source assets slash csv slash auth 3 csv okay then assign a class called image fluid and looks good so this is the one we have provided we have the duration we have the delay we have the classes we have the smooth animations things are looking good so let's remove this one and here we have that and 
we can remove this as well we don't need this we need only image fluid so we got the image now we can simply come here we'll take a div and it will have a class called column access l4 and we'll have column large 5 medium auth auto and padding 0 inside that we'll take a div and let's provide a class called log login box in that we'll take a div inside that we'll take this h2 and let's close this one and we'll say welcome to we have to take a span close it and in that we have to display the text we'll say mega bot or ai and here we'll take this ul in that we have to take this nav nav tabs we'll have an id called my tab we'll have a role called tab list and so that we'll take this li and that we'll have a class called nav item we'll have a row called presentation and so that come here and we have to get the button so we have already worked done the hard work so come back here and we have to simply grab this button copy till here come here and that's what we can simply paste so simply come here and paste and we have to do a couple of changes remove this one and here we have that so remove this class we'll say nav link active and we'll take this id we'll say login tab and this will be called tab and this will be called login tab pen and we can take a role called tab and remove this one we can simply copy and paste here so this is the attribute we have provided now we can take one more we'll say Arial selected this will be true by default and rest will be fine and here we can display login so this is the first button simply copy and paste one more time and here we can simply change this to sign up sign up and we can simply remove this active class then change this to sign up and simply copy this one and that's the changes you have to do here and this will be false by default so this is the two buttons we have here so we got the signing and sign up now we can come here we'll take a div let's close that one and we'll take a class called tab content it will have an id called my tab content and so that will display our two component login and sign up and that's the only thing you have to do here so if you come back here so our image is not displaying maybe i have done something wrong in the spelling but i'll keep it for later so this looks fine you can see we can switch back to different tabs so this looks good now we can start working on the login so let's make it side by side so we can see what we are exactly working on let's drag down here now we can import couple of things from react so we need use state and use effect and we can come here we'll take its use state and we'll say user this is the user now we can come here we'll take this use effect and we'll come here we'll take this variable called str and we have to get the data from the local storage so we'll call this user detail let's make it capital d details and we have to set that data as a user so we'll say pass object json pass and we'll pass this star and here we have to build if statement we'll say pass object means we have the name of the user in the local storage then only we have to store in the state variable and we'll pass the entire object so that's the use hook we have now we can start working on the jsx let's take a class called tab panel we'll take this fade show active by default we'll take an id and we'll call it login tab pan it will have the role called tab pan panel and we'll have this arial labeled by login tab and we'll take this tab index to let's say zero so that's the we have now remove this one we'll take this dynamic block and we'll say that let's take a div it will have a class called auth form it will check if we have the user 
so if we have the user then do otherwise this so if we have the user with we have to display nothing else we have to display this component we'll take this div it will have a class called md3 form group inside that we'll take a icon and it will have a data icon and that's one is mail we'll take this label remove this take the four and this will call the email id we'll have a class called form label and that will take this email id now we have to take the input so we'll take an input it will have a class called form control and type is going to be email let's assign a placeholder enter your mail and looks good now we'll take an id we'll say email id so this is the first input we have simply replicated one more time and this one for the so do this changes in the top margin bottom and here we have to change this to log 2 and here we have to change the id to password and remove this to enter your password and and here we have to do the changes called password okay these are the two input field we have and now we can simply display our button so we'll say anchor button solid with 100 text center and margin top three we don't want to redirect simply remove this one and inside that we'll take our text so we'll take this if we have the user is already connected means user have logged in or created account then we'll display this start chatting otherwise we have to display this login me in so this is our dynamic component now let's assign a data cursor to a pointer and we'll assign this href to be user if we have the user then display the slash chat else we have to display nothing okay something wrong i have done so it's solid and here we have that one so if we have the user object in the local story then we have to do this styling if we don't then do this so that's the simple logic we have built so and looks good now we can simply come here we'll take this user if user exists then nothing otherwise we have to display this h4 and we can say this text title text center and margin top through and that will say don't have an account and we have to simply provide this anchor we don't want to redirect anywhere you can redirect but this say data cursor a pointer and will display our text and it will say sign up and that's how it will look so the tab is working absolutely fine so that's the only thing we have to do here close this one and if we come here so this is what we have in the login page now what we can do is the same thing we have to do here in the sign up page as well so let's come back to the sign up page because the login page is working fine and we have to follow the same structure so let's import a couple of things quickly use state and we'll take this use and we'll take this user okay let's remove this one and this will be user so object we'll take the name we'll take the email we'll take the password and we'll password and we'll take the confirm password so these are the information we're going to take from the user so that's what we have now we'll take a variable called handle form field change it will take the field name and it will take the event and then we have to simply update we'll take the set user we have to deconstruct that and we'll take the field name e dot target dot value so this will automatically update our state variable now we can come here we'll take a create a function called create account it will take an event in that we have to take this first we have to prevent the default behavior then we have to take this if we have all of this data then we want to store and create the account otherwise we don't allow user to do that so they have to provide the name email password and the confirm password if it exists then we're going to store take this data as a as a json so let's take this variable called json object and we have to store stringify this data and pass it once we have this data in the stringify format we have to simply store that 
we'll call it said item and we have to pass this user detail with user detail with capital and we'll pass the entire object so in that way we are storing the information of the user in the local storage and then we have to simply reload the browser so that's the one thing we have to do and that's the logic function login functionality i have created okay you can use a dedicated backend where you're going to store the a information about the user in the backend server that's not what i'm using in this if you really want to learn about the api development in advance i have a complete playlist i have a complete project on that it's a 14 hours long course so make sure to understand and follow that course and that i have teach you every single thing about the api development login and logout so make sure to check that but i'm not going to use that in this video in this project now what we can do is come back here in the login and simply copy this entire jsx and that's what we're going to simply use here paste here and here you can see the user is already logged in we have the data of the user in the local storage and because of that it's displaying this so first thing what we have to do is we have to remove the data from the local storage so make it on the big screen so that's how it will look let's go to the inspect element bring it back here and let's make it big and go back to the applications and here we have all the data already here so i'm going to simply remove that one I reload the browser and here you can see the components opened up for the login and logout sign up so now we have to simply do the changes so make it side by side and now here we have to do the editing so first we have to change this id sign up and copy and paste here sign up that's the first thing remove this show an active and the rest would be fine and we don't need this one simply remove this one and remove this one okay so remove this one and now it's look good this one is okay no issues we have here so we'll call it name this will be the name and here you can see name the tabs are working fine and here we have to simply call the function so change this to name this will be the name and it will have an on change function and that we have to call the function we have created what is the name of the function handle form so call that handle form and that we have to pass the name and event so that's the thing we have to do and here we have the second one so let's change this to margin bottom three and this will be the email id change this to email id and this will go like copy and paste here and we have to change this email so that's the two now simply copy this one and paste here and change this to password and this will be the okay email email this will be password this is already password so this will be the password and i'm getting this error message so let's see what i have done okay simply copy this one i forgot to copy that copy this and paste here and the error is gone and here we have to do the changes so this will be the email and this is called password save it copy paste one more time and this is the password confirm confirm password and here we have to simply do the changes this will be the uh, so copy and paste here this will be password one this will be the password one and here we have looks good okay so in this way we are updating all the data and we're going to simply pass this password confirm and that's we'll update our state variable and here we have the button so what we can do we can simply remove this one and we're going to have this we remove this uh, let's provide the classes and this will be four and we don't need this simply remove this one and we simply simply remove this one and we'll say sign up and this will have an on-click function and on the on-click we have to simply call the function we have created for the account create account we'll pass the event and that's it looks good now we can come here we'll take this class name text title text center and we'll have a margin top two pixels we'll say already have an account then you can go to the login just start using straight away we'll take this data cursor to be pointer and it will say sign in so if it you can see the tabs are working fine we have no issues let's see on the big screen our image is not displaying okay 
just keep it for timing and this look good here we are the shadow is there let's do the inspect element and let's try to create an account so here you can see we have nothing so let's create an account so once i will create the account this data will store in the local storage so let's give the name so i'll call it dollar let's give an id this random and let's give the password random password and the moment i will click on this sign up you can see this data is stored in the local storage and the browser reload and here we got this start chatting component save never if you click on this you can see this is the information we have provided we are stored there if you click on that it will take you to the chat page and the user can start using this looks good now you can come to the home page things are looking absolutely good let's check this final time we have no issue and this all components are looking good we can open we can close and we have this okay that looks good close that one and all the tabs are working fine we are changing the data is changing come back to the home page and you can click on the login so it's not going so let's come back to the home and go back to the header component because there we have to do the changes so what we can do come back home go to the header this is the hero section not in the hero section we have to go header and here we have the menu list so we have to find the button so where is the button and here we have the button here we have to simply redirect to the login page save it here they are on the login page and we can click and we can come to the chat page so things are looking fine we have no issues so finally we have completed the entire project you can see every single thing is working fine now let's come back to the home page and let's have a look final time so this is how our home page would look like this is the beautiful front end we have designed and i hope you guys have watched this so this is the entire component we have built we have the different tabs and we have the footer we have the nice over effect on the card looks good we have this different components nice feature sections and this is the section and it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices it looks pretty good if i expand this you can see it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices and that's how it will look so we are done with this if you click on that that's how it's going to open so if you click on this chat here we are on the chat you can simply ask your questions let me show you so you can see this is how it will look you can go to the different one looks good this is the models we have and that looks good you can simply see all the thing okay so this is what we have designed as a chat one and now in the last video and this is what we have completed in this video this is the login and log out so let's do one thing let's start everything from the beginning let's test this final time and we are done so first we have to delete all the local storage information and now we can simply come back to the code and here we are and you can see first thing we got to do is open our terminal and stop the application from running and we have stopped the application let's do it from the beginning so you guys can be on the same path so let's delete this artifact and we have to delete this cache and now we can start so simply open up your terminal now we have to first start our server so we have to get into the server folder will say cd s-e-r-v-e-r -E and we have to start our server npm run s-e-r-v-e-r -E server and this will start our server simply split the terminal so now we have to start our local blockchains first we have to get out of the cd servers folder and here we are in the main directory and now we'll type npx hard hat node this will start the local blockchain and it will give you 20 plus account so we drag here and let's split it one more time and let's call the script folder so let's come back here and this is the script hit enter and it will deploy our contract and here we got the address here we got the artifact and here we have that contract so this time we already have the have the json file so let's close this one come back here in the context and we already have because we haven't done any changes we do so we don't worry about that now we have to simply start our application we'll type npm run dev and here our application is started and here you can see every single thing is working fine we have no issues in our application everything is calling fine animations are working fine let me 
first log out from the applications. So I'll simply call log out and read the browser. It will open the MetaMask automatically and I will have to provide it and hit enter. And here we are logging to the application. Looks good. So if I come back here, go to the chat. Now I can use free. So I have five free, so I can simply search for it. So I can simply search for five free trial. I'll say, hi, chat GTP, GPT, and it will give me the response. So this is what I'm get. You can say, hi, Dalat. Let's say what it says. Dalat ki chat is a traditional Indian dessert. <laughs> I don't know this that my name is used in as for chat so you can see everything is working fine now what we have to do is we have to take the subscriptions so let's come back here and now we have to simply call the function and we have to initialize because we have deployed the contract now we have to create the membership so let's come back to the code and inside the code come back here let's bring this down come back here in the page go back to the index and here we have the function simply uncomment this one and come back here in the context and the very first we'll create is for one month th month month not months come back in the browser and come back to the home page and here we have the button so we can create it so before we do that we have to clear our metamask because if i call the function just like this it's going to fail because of the history is there in the metamask so clear the entire history in the metamask reload the browser and simply call it click on this membership it will open that one and confirm so we have created one more let's create two more so this will be for three and this will be for six and months save it come back here and click on one more time and here we are creating the second membership we have done it now let's create it for five and this will be for one year here and it will display absolutely fine come back here reload the browser and now click on this list membership it will open this click on confirm and here we are so we have created click on this chat and you can see we can use its free one we can use it free one so if i come back here let's type and say hi chat gpt bye chat gpt i know these questions are stupid chat gtp is not available for purchase why you can have a conversation so this the main reason why it's important to have a good understanding of different types of computer networking is because different types of networks are used in different purpose so you can see it's talking about its model the language model and we are out of this free trial now what I will do is I'll come back here and I can simply take the membership click on the select membership and it will open and I'm paying this one click on this confirm and here I am in the pro reload and now I can simply search for it so that's the one way and if you want to see the details you can come back here and here you will find all the details so you have taken for the six month you have paid three matic this is the one id he was the only one user the expiry date when it's going to be expired so it will expire in 2014 second month and 12 you can see automatically the date got calculated and this is the address and you can easily able to create your account from here or you can go to the login page as well so let me show you now come back here and let's go to the login page and let's create an account so right now we cannot log in because this one is a demo one because we are not using any backend we are just storing the information in the local storage come back here in the sign up and say dollar will take dollar one two three four at the at the rate gmail.com one two four you can give any number two three four and click on this sign up and you can see it's store the information in the local storage and here we got this options if you click on that it will say take you here so the login feature is also working fine and now you can come here and here you will find the information which you have provided 
and you can also find this information in your local storage so you will find two different information so if you come back to the applications you can see this is the user details so like the email and we have this dollar password password and here we have the free trial is over now we are in the pro member and here we have the user information which we are stored and uh, looks fine that's what it looks good now you can simply update but when you update your information from here make sure to provide in all the fields because that's the logic we have implemented if you click on this it will be update and now you can come here and here you will find this information here 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 and here everything is working fine so the login and logout feature is also working now come back here this is also looking good and now let's write the final time ask our chat gtp we'll say why we should learn chain development hit enter it's going to give you this response and with this response we are completed this entire project Hope you guys have enjoyed this project and you guys can build your own application using the power of AI, open AI, and you can integrate with the backend. So every single thing is working fine. We are in the pro member and now we can ask as many questions as we want for the next six months. So different things are looking absolutely fine. You can click on this and you can say G E N E R A T E generate T R O N G E strong password and it will be generate the strong password for you and you can say w r i t e writer l a letter just forget about my spelling i made a lot of mistakes but the a is smart enough to understand that what you are asking so with that we are done with this entire project it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices so you can click on that you will have this menu you can go to the different pages different components no problem in that at all you can go to the different pages you can see the history is there you can simply scroll down and you can simply click on this and you can select different mode you can select the social media it will display and you can ask your question so if you want i'm done with coding i am done with coding and it's going to give you the response in a mobile you can see that's great what language are you learning okay so it's giving absolutely amazing so hope you guys have built this entire projects along with me and you guys have understood that what logic we have implemented and how we have structured our entire application and this application is 100 percent ready all you have to do is to deploy and build and additional features so i want you to come and simply replace all of this text and add your own text this is the project which you can include in your portfolio to show that you know how to deal with the API, how to deal with the AI models and use it in Web3 space with the smart contract. You can upload this application and start making money out of it. So you can allow user to take membership and they can take the membership through the cryptos and they can use your application. Right now, if you look at the plan of the chat GTP for the pro members, you have to pay $20, but you can sell it for less like $10. And you can allow them to search based on the contract or you can have another way you can add google adsense in this and you will start making money by displaying the ads so this is the phenomenal application we have built so far again if you guys have encountered any error or if you guys want me to support do so because i really need your support so come here and you will find all the things that what i do and i have launched this particular course a lot of good review we have got a lot of students have already joined it so make sure to come and have a look this will teach you every single thing which you have to know about the react and how you can deal with the ai models and how you can use the power of context management we have used redux toolkit so this will teach you every single thing which you have to know so make sure to come and take and have a look from your end and if you have stuck and if you want to take the final code core source code you can simply come here and here we have built so many projects to end more than 20 projects we have here so I want you to build each one of this project that will give you a better idea. So spend the next three to four months building all of this project and you will be the master. So this is the one which you have or you can simply come here and you can able to filter. I want you to build this NFT marketplace because this one is the most demandable right now. You can simply click on this recent and here you can filter that one. I want to build about this 
build token second app this will teach you that how you can build a custom token how you can work with the t5 space we have built our extension we have built our nft api business model we have the real estate dab and we have tons of we have the api this is the complete api course we have on the channel we have the unisop clone so tons of project we have built so make sure to come and if you want to get the final code you can simply click on that and you can get that and here i have show you that how, what do you what the setup you have to do once you get the final code so with that i'm done with this entire project so i hope you guys have enjoyed this entire project so with that we are done with this entire project and we're going to have a new project very soon on our channel so you guys can follow that have a wonderful day bye bye